All right, here we go. Dang it. Hey guys, I am here with a really quick video just to show you how to remove the base plate and swap it out with another one on a Glock magazine. I get so many questions on how to do this the right way. Um, people ruin them and they break the base plates. So something happened to someone's spring. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do it without a Glock tool. I don't have one. I don't know why I don't have one, but I don't. So we're going to demonstrate this on a Glock 42. I just swapped these out. We're going to do both of these here. So I just swapped these out. Here are the original base plates. This one here. And I swapped them out for the Pierce grip extensions that gives it the, the really, really nice and comfortable pinky extensions there. So, here's the hack job, how to swap these out effortlessly. Now, uh, when you usually have, we're just going to say that, I'm not going to use this, but we're going to say that this is your Glock tool, it's just an Allen key. Um, what you're supposed to do, you push this tab, it's the plate that's on the bottom of the spring, push it down to get the spring out of the way, and then you squeeze both sides of the magazine uh, because each side has a little tab. You can see that there. Little tab. Little tab on that side also. That's what keeps it in place so it doesn't, you know, slide out. So you're supposed to push down on the spring through that hole there. And then with the tool, so if you can picture this inside there with the tool and then you pull it this way so it's going to push against the back wall there of the magazine and then slide this forward. So without the Glock tool we're going to use something a little longer than this Allen key. I'm going to use this screwdriver, the uh, flathead screwdriver that just happens to fit perfectly in that hole there. And I'm also going to use, because this is a new magazine and I haven't swapped these out yet, plus these things are so small, these Glock 42 magazines, they're really hard to get a good grip on. And uh, if you're holding it this way, as you're pulling this way, the little metal parts here are digging into your palm. You can probably see some of those marks there. And it hurts, it doesn't feel very good. So what we're going to do is we're going to relieve the pressure on both of those tabs by pushing each side of these in, not with our fingers, but with a pair of vice grips. Very lightly, very lightly. We don't want to do any damage to the plastic here, but what we're going to do, see the size that I have there, is just about what we got there with the width. Um, so we're going to put these on just a, a very small amount of pressure. Since we're squeezing the sides, we're going to push it in first. There we go. And once that's in, now we're going to squeeze the sides just a little bit. And then pull forward. See it's off of the back there already. So we can do, take these vice grips off. Pull this out. And then remember, we have a spring under compression here, so as we're pulling this base plate off, we're going to want to keep our thumb over the bottom of that because we don't want a spring flying out in our face. So we pull this off the rest of the way. We have the spring and the plate contained in there, and then we can let that go, and that comes out. So that's how easy it is um, to not strain yourself by adding the vice grips there, it just makes it a lot simpler. So to put it back on, we're going to put this with the little tab, this little tab there, facing up. I'm going to push the spring back in, hold that flush with the bottom of the magazine, take our 
extension here, the new extension, push it on over those two tabs on the side, and then for this to be done correctly, when we push this all the way in, we're going to hear a click, and that's that tab coming through that hole there to show that it's locked. Ready? There it is. Now it's not going anywhere, and that's how simple it is. So we'll do that one more time real quick. I'll show you with the other magazine here. So we're going to push the spring down first. Get it out of the way. Take our vice grips very lightly. Minimal pressure here, really. I could probably pull these off if I wanted to. I don't want to scratch it up, but that's how, that's how light they are. Just relieving just a little bit of pressure. And then we're going to pull forward with that. Take the vice grips off. Pull this out since we have it off of those tabs on the side. Slide it off, keeping our thumb over the spring, and that's it. And there it is. So to put it back together again, just to reverse, keep that tab on the top, push it down, slide your base plate back over, get it over those two tabs on the sides. See that one right there? Once you have it right about there, you can let go of the spring. It's not going to go anywhere now. And then we just close it up, hear the pop, and we're done. That's how easy it is. And I got to tell you, if you have one of these Glock 42s, this little pinky extension is really great. Um, this is a really small pistol, as many as you know, it's Glock's smallest pistol to date. And uh, I love the pinky extension. It feels so much better when you grip it. All right, so that's about it. Um, if you guys have any other tips or tricks for this kind of thing, for a different firearm, let us know. I hope to do more of these videos in the future. And I hope this helps some of you guys out. Thanks for watching.